Yo, what is going on guys? It's your boy MTG back here with another video today. And today I'm going to go over the top 10 quarterbacks in Madden 23 Ultimate Team. During the special stream last night, these cards got revealed. And I'm going to be talking about what I think about them, my opinions on them, and basically if you guys should pick them up or not. If you guys like the video, please make sure to like, subscribe, comment down below, and turn on post notifications. And without further ado, let's hop right into the video. All right, so the first player we got revealed right here is this 83 overall Kyler Murray. He's an improviser quarterback. 83 speed, 83 throw power, 81 short accuracy, 79 medium, 82 deep, 82 throw under pressure, 82 throw on the run with 73 play action. He's a good scrambling quarterback. He has a good speed, but uh, his play action is a little weak. But most of his accuracy is pretty good. Medium accuracy is the only thing that really scares me. But besides that, this card should play very, very well. Um, he's just definitely going to be, you know, a solid, you know, budget quarterback in my opinion. So if you want to go pick out Kyler Murray, he's not a bad option. He's a little small though, which is the only concern I really have with this card. Let's ride, because at number 9, we got 84 overall Russell Wilson. 78 speed, 84 throw power, 81 short accuracy, 82 medium, 84 deep, 82 throw under pressure, 84 throw in the run, 86 play action. Um, This card looks really good. I'm not going to lie. There's really not any flaws that I think with this card. 78 speed is plenty at the beginning of the year. He's going to be able to make some moves. Um, He has great accuracy. He's great play action, great throw on the run. To me, he's just a little bit... He feels like a better Kyler Murray, but also there's worse speed there, so it's kind of hard to make that comparison. But in my opinion, Russell Wilson should play very well, and I think he's going to be one of the better quarterbacks in the game day one. 84, Dak Prescott is our next player we have up right here. 84 overall improviser, 77 speed, 84 throw power, 82 short accuracy, 82 medium, 83 deep, 83 throw on the run, 81 throw, on, or excuse me, 83 throw under pressure, 81 throw on the run, 82 play action. Um, To me, it just feels like a worse Russell Wilson. That's what it feels like to me. They're basically the same Zach Carr besides that. Dak is a little taller, which is going to help a little bit, but they're the same archetype. They essentially have the same stats. So, I mean, honestly, if you pick and choose, you're not really going to see much of a difference between the two. Um, but Dak, he's not a bad car whatsoever. You know, if you're a Cowboys fan or even not, this isn't a bad quarterback to run day one. 85 overall, Joe Burrow is the next car we have up right here. 71 speed, 85 throw power, 84 short accuracy, 84 medium, 83 deep, 82 throw under pressure, 81 throw on the run, 79 play action. A little bit worse speed than some of the previous guys we saw, but that throw power is much improved over them. Uh, he's a field general quarterback. He'll be able to get solid archetypes and solid abilities, um, you know, in his ability bucket right now as an 85 overall. In my opinion, not a bad card whatsoever. The speed's a little bit lackluster, but besides that, no other complaints. Joe Burrow, he should be a solid, solid card. Current Super Bowl defending champion Matthew Stafford comes in at an 85 overall right here, finally getting some respect he deserves. 63 speed, 87 throw power, 83 short accuracy, 82 medium, 83 deep, 80 throw under pressure, 79 throw on the run, 83 play action. Again, speed's a little low, which is a concern, but besides that, the 87 throw power is elite, and all of his accuracies are pretty good, along with his throw on the run and all that kind of stuff. Um, my opinion, again, not too many flaws with this car besides the speed. That's going to hurt you a little bit, but the throw power is definitely going to make up for it. So Matthew Stafford, he's a pretty good card. Justin Herbert is up next at an 86 overall, 78 speed, 87 throw power, 85 short accuracy, 82 medium, 85 deep, 81 throw under pressure, 84 throw in the run, 82 play action. Really no flaws with this card. This card is fast. He is an elite thrower. I mean, he looks like an absolute beast day one. Similar to a lot of these top guys, they all look good. You know, Justin Herbert, field general quarterback archetype, which is also pretty solid as well. And 86 overall, he should be great day one of Madden 21, or excuse, Madden 21, Madden 23 ultimate scene. Next up here, we have 86 overall Tom Brady, a field general quarterback, 57 speed, 85 throw power, 87 short accuracy, 84 medium, 84 deep, 81 throw under pressure, 73 throw on the run with an 85 play action. Essentially, this just looks like not a very good card. I'm not going to lie to you guys, he's very slow. Um... His accuracies are very good, but if you compare him to Justin Herbert, really not much of a difference in their accuracies that much. The throw power is better on Herbert. The speed's better on Herbert. The, you know, the throw on the run's better than her for Herbert. I mean, there's a lot of, you know, pluses to Herbert compared to Brady. Brady just doesn't look that good this year. I'm not going to lie, guys. And I recommend probably staying away from him, especially at an 86 overall. We have now the back-to-back -back NFL MVP Aaron Rodgers coming in at an 87 overall. 72 speed, 87 throw power, 87 deep short accuracy, 87 medium, 85 deep, 88 throw under pressure, 87 throw on the run with 85 play action. Um, he basically has some of the top, you know, accuracies and throw on the run, all that in the game. Only thing lacking is the speed, but honestly, 72 is not the worst to start off of the year. So 
you'll be able to get away from a few people, but, you know, he may only last, like, three weeks in this game before it's like, okay, the speed, you know, it's a little behind now. But uh, for day one, he looks pretty good. So Madden 23 ultimate team, Aaron Rodgers, not a bad day one quarterback. Now at number two, we have 87 overall Patrick Mahomes, Super Bowl champion MVP Patrick Mahomes right here. 78 speed, 87 throw power, 87 short accuracy, 84 medium, 84 deep. 87 throw under pressure, 88 throw on the run with 88 play action. Him and Aaron Rodgers look very, very similar. Mahomes has a little bit better speed, and he has a little bit worse accuracies, but to me, they're going to play hand-in-hand. Hand. They're both insane good cards, and Patrick Mahomes is not a bad quarterback by any means. He's going to be a very, very good quarterback day one, and honestly, you know, I'm not going to lie. He's probably maybe my pick. I love Patrick Mahomes' cards. But number one, if you when we look at him and look at these stats, you're gonna your jaw's gonna drop. So Patrick Mahomes, very good, very solid quarterback to start off day one, Madden 23 ultimate team. And at number one here, we have Josh Allen at an 88 overall. A very controversial pick, but I like it. I love Josh Allen's cards in the game. I don't think he should be rated above, you know, guys like Aaron Rodgers and um what's his name? Patrick Mahomes. But you know what? It's Madden. Let it fly. 80 speed, 89 throw power, 84 short accuracy, 83 medium, 84 deep, 84 throw under pressure, 89 throw on the run, 81 play action. Um, this is a guy who can escape. He has the best throw power in the game, I believe. He can throw on the run very well. He can throw under pressure. He has good accuracy. He's going to hit everybody most of the time. Um, I, I don't honestly think there's a better quarterback in the game day one. I think this is probably going to be the best quarterback we get day one of Madden 23 ultimate team. And, you know, he's going to be expensive. He's going to be pricey, but he's going to be worth that price. He's going to be worth it. He's going to play insane. Josh Allen, such a good card for a day one quarterback. And there you guys have it. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys end up enjoying the video, please, please, please make sure to like, subscribe, comment down below, turn on post notifications. Tomorrow we got wide receiver tight ends coming out. And then the next week's going to be a little bit spotty. You know, I'm going to be, you know, away the entire week. So it's going to be kind of... I'm going to have to pre-record some videos and stuff like that. So there's not going to be as many uploads, but I'll still try my best to bring you guys some content. Again, like, subscribe, comment down below, turn on post notifications. And I'm NTG. Peace out.